Welcoming the minister and his entourage to the factory, the deputy managing director of Kamwaya, Alhaja Miriam Bola Yusuf, commended the efforts of the minister, Mr. Olushe Guaganga, for driving the economy of the country towards the right direction, as well as promising the minister to fully support the Nigerian Industrial Revolution Plan through Cam Industries' vision. Our vision in Cam Industries Nigeria Limited is in tandem with the drive of the Federal Republic, ably led by Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, GCFR, President and Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces of Nigeria, to speedily industrialize Nigeria and put our economy on a sound footing. We are determined to take the risk and forcefully revolutionize industrialization in our country, Nigeria. From 2001 to date, Ham Industries Nigerian Limited has grown from strength to strength, providing employment directly and indirectly to thousands of Nigerians. Today, we welcome you, Honorable Minister, to our code still rolling me. It is the third in the country in terms of age first of its kind in terms of machinery configurations and quality. While highlighting the activities of the cold rolling mill, the DMD also shared with the minister some of the unique qualities of the factory. The complex you have, you have come to see comprises of HR lighting line, push-pull prickling line, cold rolling mill, trimming and rewinding line, Continuous governizing lines, color coating, cut to length and profiling lines, and many ancillary support machinery and service centers. It is an assembly of high technology from 11 countries of the world, including India, USA, Belgium, Germany, Korea, China, Brazil, Spain, Turkey, Egypt, and many more. The existence of the code rolling me in Kwara State has created employment opportunities and satellite investment opportunities for downstream companies to use the code rolled sheets of the required gauge to produce products like galvanized roofing sheets, pipes, shovels, trowels, head pans to mention just a few. With a little addition of equipment, we can produce vehicle panel bodies here in Nigeria and a host of raw materials for many companies. In his speech, the executive governor of Kwara State, Alhaji Abdul Fatai Ahmed, who was represented by the state's commissioner for industry and solid minerals, commended CAM industry for creating job opportunities in the state. It has greatly helped in provision of employment for our teaming youth, hereby reducing unemployment in the state. The industry have also contributed immensely into the economic growth and development of Kwara State. However, all this has been made possible through the frantic effort of the present administration's various positive industrial policy that created a conducive enabling environment for the calm industry to thrive. Among the essential ingredients for the industry development provided by the state government is 33 KVA power substation at the Gamma from which CAM industry has a dedicated line. We are all aware electricity is one of the major components that is required by industry. The substation at the Gamma was put in place to boost electricity supply for the industry in the state. We are here by seeking the federal government support in setting up of industrial cluster in the state. On behalf of His Excellency, the Executive General of Kwara State, the Magidan Kwara, Elijah Abdul Ahmed, I welcome the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Olusegu Aganga, to Kwara State. The Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Mr. Olusegu Aganga, in his address while commending CAM Industry, said the federal government is not relenting in its effort in making the business environment more conducive for entrepreneurs in the country. We have identified seven enablers. One of the enablers, of course, is to make sure that we have affordable finance to support the industry. Mr. President has already directed and set up a committee to look at that. We made a presentation to him last week, where he set up a committee to look at it about how we can make sure that our industries or the real sector of the economy 
have access to affordable finance. We will have to deal with that, and Bank of Industry is going to be a big player in that solution. The second area is, of course, the area of infrastructure and power. We are working on it already. Of course, it's a lot of commitments going to the power sector. But our proposal by the industry is to focus on industrial zones, industrial parks, and industrial cities. And I think we've been having discussion about how we can create an industrial zone around camp industry so that there are other industries around this area feeding him and getting things around them. That's going to be part of our plan. The minister, however, shared some of the benefits of CAM industries to other sectors. This industry that we're talking about, we have a housing deficit of about 16 million houses. All of them, in constructing your house, you will need nails. You produce nails here. You will need even nails for the roofing sheets. You produce them here. The roofing sheets and all that, you produce them here. That means there's a big opportunity for this sector. As of today, most of those items are imported into this country. This is part of the solution for the, for the economy of this country. So once again, I want to say a very big thank you to you. And I also want to say a big thank you to the state government. Because uh, if the state government is not providing an enabling environment for you, it makes it difficult for you to also engage properly. So I think it's important that we commend the state government as well uh, for what they have done. In a press conference held after the tour, the MD of Camwire expressed his appreciation to the Minister and the Bank of Industry for their support for industrialists. To me, I see you one of the asset, big assets for Nigeria. You use your good office to give a good and a big presentation for Nigerians. Your assignment course. It's part of what is fueling our engine. I'm really proud of you. We will try our best to serve Nigeria with the little ability we have. And once again, I must commend back of the industry for their support. Because this feature today, or this amazing thing you, you saw on the Grand was it's possible because of the Bank of Italy and the, and the First Bank. To me, it, you give me a lot of sleepless nights for you to have a vision, but you don't know how to do it. I came back home. I met people who know me in the back of the industry, but I really appreciate that. With the little privilege they gave to me about almost maybe 10 years ago, I didn't, I didn't miss this it during the NIDB. They go back to the record. And they just saw all my good record I have with them. With that good record, you make them to recognize and pray for support. During that period, even despite that they are still on the lower single obligor, they went as far as putting it together and go beyond what they are single obligor then. Simply because they want to achieve this. Responding to questions from the media on what the Bank of Industry considers as a good business proposal. When you want to take a loan from the Bank of Industry, it's important that as a promoter, you have a sound business model. And the way we assess business model at Bank of Industry is to ask a few critical questions. 
First, what is the product you know you want to bring to the market? Secondly, what is the target market? You know, who are you going to sell the products to? Number three question is what stands out? You know, what stands your product out? In other words, what's your value proposition? Why should anyone be interested in your product? Why is your product or how is your product different from the other products that are in the market already? And then number four, which is really more important, is how are you going to deliver that value proposition to the target market? So for me, this the, the business model is at the heart of the credit consideration, you know, for uh, applications that are made to the bank of industry. The minister also clarified on the issue of competitiveness and local patronage. You see, one of the things I said earlier on is that for us to succeed as, an, as a, a country that wants to develop our industries, we have to focus on competitiveness. And that the, the, the Industrial Revolution Plan is the most complete and most comprehensive program for the country because for the first time we have a plan which does not only talk about tariff, talks about sectorial development, it's linked to other development plans, but more importantly, it's focused on the issue of competitiveness, which means that the goods they produce must be good enough for Nigerians. The second thing is that they must be good enough for us to export them and generate revenue from them. And government has supported this by also enacting a local uh, patronage policy that every government spending must be used to buy made in Nigerian products unless they are not available. Why are we doing this? Number one, we need to promote our industries. Secondly, is that we need to create jobs. Once again, welcome back. You're still watching BOI Impact from Cam Industry. In Ilori, the impact crew moved to Lagos, where it visited another BOI-assisted project, the Nigerian Aluminum Extrusion Company, Nigalex. The company is one of the pioneer inductees into BOI's Hall of Fame. Stay tuned and see how Nigalex earned its place in BOI's exalted Hall of Fame as we take you through the company's factory in Oshudi. Nigerian Aluminum Extrusion Company Limited is one of the foremost extrusion companies in Nigeria and a long-standing customer of BOI, dating from when the bank was Nigeria Industrial Development Bank, NIDB. In 2005, the company was granted a facility by BOI to acquire modern technology equipment in aluminum extrusion to booster its capacity. In a chat with the managing director and chief executive officer of the company, Mr. Iola Ishola, he expatiated on the company's relationship with the bank. We have been in the business since 41 years ago. And we pride ourselves uh, with the fact that we are the pioneer in sub-Saharan Africa. We started extrusions when Swiss Aluminium came with some investors. The Bank of Industry, uh, which 41 years ago used to be uh, called Nigeria Industrial Development Bank. I believe it's an offshoot of Nigeria Industrial Development Bank. Uh, happens to be a foundation shareholder in Nigerian Aluminum Extrusions Limited. Um, they started with the Swiss Aluminium and World Bank to uh, at incorporation of this company 41 years ago. Um, besides being a foundation shareholder, we even bought the representation because they have been on our board since inception. Um, the Bank of Industry also has played leading roles uh, when it comes to the financing of most of our projects. Specifically, they finance the uh, our big extrusion plant. Uh, it's 2,200 tons extrusion press. And we also want to pride ourselves that uh, through the help of the uh, Bank of Industry, that plant is the biggest in sub-Saharan Africa, and it was bought newly. Nobody buys new press. But we went ahead courageously, and uh, we went uh, for that. And it's still uh, there, and that's our pride. You also told us how the support that Nigales got from BOI has helped to turn around the fortune of the company. Prior to the acquisition of the plant I've just mentioned, um, we had a 52-year-old plant 
As a matter of fact, at inception, that's why I was trying to emphasize the importance of the new press. The plant we acquired upon uh, inception in 1973, that's uh, on incorporation, was already a 20-year-old plant. So you could see the, uh, the, the, the giant stride by going for a new, uh, a new plant. And the loan given by uh, BOI was instrumental because it was given at a single digit. If we had gone to the commercial bank, you know, there was no way it could have been feasible. And talking about the impact, of course, uh, it has led to increase in our capacity utilization. Before, we were on about 25%, 30% because of the limitations of the old press. We were able to shoot to almost 50% after acquiring that plant. And also, that helped us to employ more. We used to uh, have a staff strength of uh, um, maybe 150. But now, we have about 280 staff. So from that angle, you know, we have done it. We have been able to do a lot. I think the first uh, thing they need to uh, focus upon is hard work. If you look at the circumstances in Nigeria, talking about infrastructural deficit, uh, assessing loan, it could be discouraging. But if you are focused and you are hardworking, and there is no small beginning because that has been an issue. You see somebody just going to a business and it's already talking about billions. When we started this place, when I look at the, the turnover history, we started you know, very small. Maybe now we are doing about 2,600 tons. We started doing less than uh, five tons a month. But now here we are, we are, we are where are we? So there is a need for perseverance. And there's always the saying that you know, the diligent ones are the ones that can stand before kings. So you need to be diligent and hardworking if you really want to, to succeed in this uh, environment. Nigales truly deserved to be inducted into BOI Hall of Fame.